Hey Aquarius, this is Soul. And Aquarius, this is your week ahead, uh, beginning, the energy is beginning December 2nd and ending December 8th, 2019. The messages will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs as well. Aquarius, I hope all is well. I hope you guys had enjoyed Thanksgiving and didn't eat too much, didn't uh, shop too much. Um, anyway, um, using the Rorik uh, Tarot deck to deliver your messages this uh, this upcoming week or well, for the next two weeks. I like to use these decks two weeks in a row. And I uh, won't be offering any spiritual uplifting cards uh, at the end because I'm trying to uh, keep these um, videos under a certain amount of time and um, I don't know if that it doesn't it really doesn't make a difference. I don't think when it, uh, <laughs> you know, the recorder is going to stop on me. Um, but anyway, I think that if I try to limit the time, then, you know, that's more on, in my favor than anything. All right. So there are some reversals here just to let you know. This is, uh, of course, a large deck. It's a beautiful deck. Um, but I decided to use it uh, for this week, this upcoming week and the next week. Just to see what kind of energies we pull out of it. Oops. So they are large and I run out of space here. Um, but we'll see. Okay. So energies for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for December 2nd, start and end December 8th, 2019. Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, uh, shadow card energy, energy that will play out or most likely play out along with the rest of the cards that I select for you relates to that of the Seven of Wands. This is the card of Valor in this deck. Okay, so Valor... Uh, they have writing uh, in German and English, more German uh, on this particular card than anything. I don't see anything. But anyway, Valor. Seven of Wands, though, for me is to stand your ground. OK, don't fold. Do not bend. Uh, if you have any uh, decision making, make up your mind, stick to it. Do not succumb to your own persuasions. That would be the other uh, wands. And then also the other wands could represent external energies. Family members, friends uh, trying to persuade you to do something that uh, you have already decided that you are not going to do. Whatever that is, just do not fold, do not bend, uh, stick to whatever it is that you come up with for yourself in terms of any types of decision making. It's not about you being attacked or uh, having to fight any battles or anything like that. This is just how I feel uh, intuitively when this card ever, you know, when it, whenever it shows up that you are not to. Um, succumb to any, uh, you know, internal stuff for yourself or external stuff. Seven of Wands represents uh, the energies of fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Now, your focus is the ten is the ruins card. OK, that's the Ten of Swords. So that's your energies. But actually, this is a card uh, that has shown up for the shadow for Sagittarius. And, you know, basically the same thing applies to you guys. This is an ending. This is a completion. This is a cycle of conflicting energies, whether they were major, minor or what might have been multiple. It's coming to an end. That's what this Ten of Swords means whenever it shows up here. So it's not, of course, it's the backstabbing card and it doesn't always denote someone being physically backstabbed. Um, I always pick up, though, when it shows up about inpatient, outpatient, you know, surgical procedures that uh, Aquarius might have. Or if it's not Aquarius, then someone that Aquarius may know. Um, normally, it's about a painful if it is surgical procedures but you know hopefully whatever the surgical procedure is the, the persons are anesthetized but they will feel it after the anesthesia runs off that it was painful okay <laughs> so that's what i'm feeling for this and um it's a pretty good card it represents your energy and that of the other air signs gemini and libra tens always represent a completion of energies 
Now, when it comes to the Ten of Wands, it's giving you the energy and then that energy changes because it's whatever you got going on, that's, you know, one of my busy B cards that I has, you know, always mentions and stuff. It gives you the energy to tackle all those things that might crop up for you or that you have on your plate to take care of, you know, involving multitasking and so forth. Uh, and then once you're done, it's a completion of, um, you know, um, giving you the energy to complete what you need to uh, complete and then the energy changes around same thing applies to the ten of swords but i'm feeling because it is the swords it's conflicts now it could be for some of you major conflict i know we just celebrated the holidays and maybe there was some sort of conflicting energies uh going on possibly with uh that setup or uh it could have been involving family members or whatever a lot of people don't do well as i mentioned before when the holidays do approach for some strange reason it just brings on a enormous amount of unwanted stress. Now, you have a reversal here. Let me turn it up just so I can see what the hell it is. This is the two of swords, okay? It's in the reverse though. And so that's actually pretty good too because the two of swords is about making major decisions, making that already decided upon, okay? Maybe it's connected to the ten of swords energy. Normally, the two of swords is about you feeling anxious or having to decide uh, you know, about two things. It could be a situation, person, or event, uh, and just mild anxiety. Maybe just, uh, you know, since this is an open general reading, having to have an alternative path in terms of traveling. And maybe there's um, some traveling that may have been involved in there. You know, you were being detoured. For those, this means that, you know, the re whatever passage that you were on and you were detoured, it seems like this two of swords is showing up here to say that that's being cleared up. OK, so that's all it is. It's the ending of some sort of uh, ambiguity or having to uh, decide about something. Maybe it's uh, connected to surgical procedures. It could be. This is your energy. It represents Gemini and Libra, male or female. Next up is the uh, six of swords. So we're getting all your energy here. And this is about. Um, again, moving out of some sort of turmoil and conflict into clearer, calmer passages. Remember, the Ten of Swords was your, uh, you know, cycle of change and, and ending for some of you a major conflicting in, uh, energies or interests, uh, whether it was internal, it could have been external involving people, other people. This here is also moving out of that energy and then things come, you know, calming or clearing up for you traveling card for me. So a safe passage to safe passage from and something positively moving forward. Six of swords, six of wands, chariot is always three of wands is always something positively moving forward. So we're having your energy represent all up in here. All right. So next card here, uh, Aquarius is the virtue card and there's the three of wands so there's some traveling going on here um it could be work related it could be just for pleasure it could be a return uh because we just celebrated a major holiday but the three of wands is here and again it's about something positively moving forward two of wands is that energy of ideals uh, be informed, writing things down for future planning, but you don't have all the materials or the resources available for you. When the three of wands shows up, it may have been that, okay, so you had all those things in the recent past. Now it might be a project that you were working on is ready to move forward. Whatever that is, fill in the blank, okay, in terms of what uh, is positive and what is going to be moving forward for you. Three of Wands represent Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. So we're having some good energy here, Aquarius. Let's hope it continues. Following that three of um, Wands or the Virtue card is the High Priestess, Major Arcana. So the High Priestess shows up here. Pay attention to your intuition um, this upcoming week. The High Priestess is here to uh, give you that help and nudge you along the way. If you get any prompts, about anything um, when it relates to decisions and, you know, making moves. Remember, I said the shadow card energy was the seven of uh, uh, wands or the valor card. If you make up your mind about doing something, don't give in to your own persuasions. Don't be persuaded by others. Uh, so stick to your gut. This high priestess says stick to your gut. The high priestess represents Pisces. Other water sign energies, Cancer and Scorpio. Um, there may be, uh, it's a number two, so it could be 
some little opposition going on with another person that's connected to you. Uh, there's some secrets. Aquarius, you're holding a secret. Whenever the uh, high priestess shows up, secrets are being held. And then when the moon shows up, that's the revelation of those secrets. So um, you may have a secret, uh, whether it's a secret on someone else, a secret that you got going on personally, whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily, let me be clear, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. This is a, a card of secrets and there's some sort of mystery uh, possibly surrounding some energy uh, in association with you or is connected to another person. Okay, so it could be uh, waiting for the cups. We don't have any cups just yet, but it could be if we do get cups and I could throw in a relationship here, uh, romantic, it could be platonic, something going on with family. Uh, and then the high priestess would then say that, you know, you may have the possibility of you know, connecting or meeting someone new who is different from you. All right. So following the high priestess, Major Arcana is the world card. The world card, however, is in the reverse position. All right. So pay attention. This is the thing about the world card. It's a relationship card. But when it's in the upright, I'm going to show you just in contrast that it's all about those opportunities and uh, that are expected or unexpected that come your way. When it shows up, the Major Arcana in the reverse position, Aquarius, your focus might be on something or someone else, and then there's an opportunity that's right up your nose, or you're looking straight at an opportunity, but your focus is elsewhere, and this opportunity might pass or bypass you or pass you by. So, again, the high priestess is for you to, uh, you know, possibly stay focused, and if you're getting any types of intuitive prompts about, you know, any um, opportunities, it's not totally slipping away or will slip away. It's that you're focused on, so it could be that you're focused on something else and then there's an opportunity that bypasses us, okay? Hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, um, following the Major Arcana of the World card is the Completion card. So you have the Happiness card. This is the Four of Wands. So someone could be, you know, again, purchasing a home. Someone could be relocating to a different area. Someone could be uh, moving in with um, someone. This could be romantic, platonic, could be family. Uh, but this is all about happiness underneath a structured, uh, you know, four walls. <laughs> okay, a building, a home. Four of Wands represents fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. So you have the happiness card. This is still turning out to be a very, very positive reading for my fellow uh, water barrels. Your last card is pleasure. Pleasure. Okay. And the pleasure card is the Six of Cups. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful card? Now, the Six of Cups is all about going down memory lane, a reflection of uh, good times that you've had in the past. All of that could come into play. This is, however, you, you have two people here and they look like they're engaged in a very uh, sexy pose or position. This could be someone from your past that you were romantically linked with. And that person uh, may be thinking about you. Uh, and then you may hear something from this person. Now, I know when I bring up this energy. I get a lot of comments like the people like, I don't want my ex to come back and so forth. Well, that may be true because this is showing up here in the upright position. As I always say in previous uh, posts that there's a possibility of entertaining when it shows up in the reverse, there's someone from your past that you're not willing to uh, entertain because they created some sort of emotional stuff for you. Also, and, um, in all fairness, I have to say that this could be a week for some Aquarians who may be uh, remembering. This is a, a memorial type of energy, someone who they were once connected to, uh, but they're now in spirit. And this may be the week where um, it was there uh, something significant to them, like their passing, their birthday it might be an anniversary or whatever. And then you're feeling um some type of way, but not in a bad way, but it's just thinking about these person's energies. And because the holidays are approaching, this also too might be coming into play. Thinking of those uh, people that you were connected to in the past, but they're no longer here. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female represents this pleasure or six of cups card. So we have a good energy here. 
So throw the comments and let me know how things are uh, rolling out for you. If they're not resonating with you, don't bother to write in and say that it's not resonating with you. It doesn't make sense for me. Anyway, like I said before, no spiritual uplifting card to close out your reading, Aquarius. Um, please be safe in all that you do. And uh, always emphasizing that safety. I'm sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Aquarius, be well. Bye.